In this video, I'm going to discuss if your discharge is normal or if it could be a sign of an STI. Discharge can be normal or it can be a sign of something wrong. The trouble is, how can you tell the difference? We're gonna talk about what is normal and what isn't. But first, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant specializing in women's health and gynecology. You are watching In The Pink, and if you're new here, In The Pink means in good health and spirits. So if you like being healthy and happy, click subscribe, because you're in the right place. So first off, STI stands for sexually transmitted infection. You might be used to hearing STD. STD stands for sexually transmitted disease. We don't really use that term anymore because STI really is more accurate because we are talking about infections. And for the infections that I will go over today, they are treatable, just usually with antibiotics. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what you can do if you think that your discharge might suggest that you have an STI. So make sure to watch till the end. Okay, next I wanna say that discharge can be confusing because it's normal to have it, but it can be abnormal too. Normal can be yellow, abnormal can be yellow, normal can be white, abnormal can be white. So how can we tell if it's abnormal? And if it is abnormal, what does that mean for you? Because some of the most common causes of discharge are from sexually transmitted infections, while other causes of abnormal discharge are from other infections, but not sexually transmitted. If I confused you already, don't worry, because I'm gonna explain what I'm talking about. The first thing we need to do is clarify what normal discharge is. Then we can talk about what abnormal discharge looks and feels like. So normal discharge can range from clear to white to mucousy to yellow. As you can see, there's a big range. Some of that depends on where you are in your menstrual cycle. All women have discharge throughout your cycle. The first thing you need to remember is that just discharge is not a sign of an infection. Usually, there will be additional symptoms that suggest that there's an infection. So let's talk about what those symptoms are and what they might mean. So first off, if you have itching and burning along with white discharge, particularly white clumpy discharge, that often suggests a yeast infection. If you have yellow, brown, or green discharge, and there's foul odor, then you could have a bacterial infection. This is also called BV or bacterial vaginosis. Now both BV and yeast infections are not sexually transmitted. You can get them at any time, not having to do anything with intercourse. But there are three main STIs, or sexually transmitted infections, that cause discharge. And telling them apart is where it can get a little bit tricky. These three STIs are called gonorrhea, chlamydia, and trichomonas. Now the first thing that I'm gonna talk about here is trichomonas. Some people call it just trick. Trichomonas is an STI, but it's caused by a protozoan, which is a single-celled parasite that invades the vagina, and it causes itching, burning, redness, and soreness of the vulva, which is your, like the external genitalia. It can also make it hurt when you pee. It can often make you have increased discharge as well. Now, the medical textbook will say that the discharge is bubbly and green, and lots of it but trichomonas doesn't always read the textbooks, so it might also cause yellowish discharge or clear discharge, and it might have like a fishy or a sour smell to it. Gonorrhea is an STI caused by a bacteria that can easily be treated if diagnosed early, but if you have symptoms and let it go too long, it can lead to more serious issues. And the tough thing is, sometimes for women, you might only have mild symptoms that you might overlook, but when you do have symptoms, it's usually increased discharge, pain when you urinate, meaning pain when you pee, pain with intercourse, and sometimes light bleeding in between your periods. Chlamydia is another bacteria that can cause abnormal discharge. You can have no symptoms at all, but if you do, it's often increased discharge as well as burning when you urinate. Sound familiar? The symptoms for chlamydia and gonorrhea are very similar, and it's really tough to know which one you have based on your symptoms alone. The only exception might be if you have a known exposure to either gonorrhea or chlamydia. In other words, if you've had a sexual encounter with someone and afterwards they told you that they have gonorrhea or chlamydia, then if you have symptoms, you could probably assume that you probably have at least what they said that they have, but you should still get in to see your medical provider to be tested because there isn't anything in the rule books that says that you can't have more than one sexually transmitted infection at a time. That being said, if they told you that they have gonorrhea and chlamydia before you have a sexual encounter, best thing to do is wait till they are treated before engaging in any sexual activity. Also, I'm just gonna throw this in right here now. If you are having sex with someone, the best way to prevent against getting an STI is to use a barrier protection, like a condom. Because while you can cure 
gonorrhea and chlamydia and trichomonas, there are some STIs that you can't cure and you're gonna have it forever. So best to always protect yourself. Okay, so like I said earlier, the symptoms can really overlap and it's hard to tell just by the symptoms which one you might have. This is why when you go to see your medical provider, they will undoubtedly do a test to see what type of infection you have. Sometimes they have you give a urine sample or sometimes they might put a small Q-tip swab into your vagina and then send that to the lab. They can then be able to tell you accurately what you have and help you to get treated. Now, if you can't get to a doctor's office but still think you have an infection, you do have another option. There are now available tests you can order that come straight to your home privately. You collect the sample yourself, which is very, very easy. You send the sample back by mail and in less than a week, about two to five days, you get notified of your results. If your test is positive for something, they offer you a free telemedicine visit. I think it's great if you can see your own provider so you can have any questions answered, but this new mail-in test is a really convenient option as well. I'll link that website in the video description down below. So I hope this video answered your questions. If you like this kind of video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. If you still have more questions about vaginal discharge, at the end of this, I'll put my video on if vaginal discharge is normal. Click on that video and I will see you over there.